When you ask an academic or a professor of some kind to produce an online course, their immediate thing is to think about the kind of way they perform in the face-to-face -face space. So they're all trying to uh, kind of mimic a presentation in a lecture theatre, even if that's not them physically standing in a lecture theatre, although quite a lot of them were, it's 3D backgrounds that kind of make it feel like there's a formal presentation going on. So the lecture still feels quite strong. And I think that's a real shame because actually, I'm not sure the lectures as a teaching and learning model, I don't think it's that good anyway. And yet, why are we trying to copy its conventions and take it through into the online space? Und das gleiche gilt eigentlich auch für diese gezwungene Kreativität und Lustigkeit in diesen Kursen, was man sieht, was überhaupt nicht zu den Personen teilweise passt. Und das Ganze dann, würde ich sagen, auch noch eher unprofessionell umgesetzt. Also man sieht es ja immer wieder. Ne? Da wurde im Greenscreen gearbeitet und dann wurde das nicht vernünftig eingefügt. Also das sind halt so diese kleinen Sachen. Damit, glaube ich, könnte man noch leben. Aber diese erzwungene, wir machen das jetzt hier modern und anders, aber eigentlich ist das gar nicht modern und anders, sondern eigentlich ist das total 80er und 90er, ist sowas, was man ja in ganz, ganz vielen Kursen immer wieder findet. So ganz einfache Sachen, dass man bei einem Interview oder bei einer Rede eines dieser Professoren, dass, dass da keine Schnittmöglichkeiten geschaffen sind, so dass es einfach springt, dass man trashige Effekte benutzt, die man jetzt so normalerweise nicht benutzt, außer es ist total bewusst und passt dann total perfekt. Ja, und hier ist halt wieder so ein Thema mit dem, mit dem Authentischen. Ähm, wenn die Sachen nicht gut gemacht sind, wenn sie, wenn sie Fehler haben, wenn, wenn sie unsauber sind, dann zieht das automatisch von der Glaubwürdigkeit ab. Man verewigt sich halt eben doch für eine gewisse Zeit und ähm steht einfach in Konkurrenz mit all den anderen Videos, all den professionell produzierten Lernvideos, aber nicht nur Lernvideos, sondern Trailerformaten. Also man hat einfach ein, ein gewisses Qualitätsbewusstsein, wenn man sich im Netz auch im Videobereich bewegt. Und daran messe ich alles, auch die Lernvideos. Wenn wir diese Form der Wissensvermittlung digitalisieren, fällt uns auf, dass wir auf der einen Seite überhaupt nicht mehr auf dieses 90-Minuten-Format festgelegt sind, was für manche zu lang ist, für manche vielleicht zu kurz ist, dass wir auch nicht mehr darauf festgelegt sind, dass ein Dozent mit einer Sprechgeschwindigkeit für alle Leute spricht. Ein Schlüsselbegriff für mich äh, ist Performance. Jedes Lehren ist Performance. Ich denke, ich sah zwei Typen von Gesture über Performance. So one is maybe intended, perhaps, because there was one program in which people were trying to be comical and making big gestures, funny postures. We have a, actually quite large repertoire of interactional gestures, and we use subtly different variants depending on the context. And that's lacking, and uh, then it looks very unnatural to me. I know Harvard uh, uses coaches, you know, basically acting coaches, uh, and we haven't done as much of that here, although we've used some similar, similar techniques in a probably more amateur way. Uh, but, just in, but just in terms of making people comfortable, making them uh, relate, you know, be themselves, and that's always so, that's sort, of, uh, that's sort of paradoxical, right? You know, be yourself as you perform in front of a camera, right? It doesn't necessarily follow and I think again it's an incredible skill that some people possess and other people will never have. Lecture, the video material actually could maybe be better written. We know that if there is nothing actually visually stimulating in a video quite often learners will just read the transcript and not watch the video so if you don't need to actually see something then why is it a video? To, to simply present PowerPoint slides with a picture-in-picture, picture, um, I'm personally not a very big fan of that at all. Um, one of the, I think, the really interesting ideas around that is um, if you're just presenting sort of picture-in-picture picture slides with uh, the small talking head, um, that small talking head does not really add much. 
In fact, I think in some ways it really detracts, right? Because then you're asking the student to choose, do I look at the slide, do I look at the person? And if this is an introductory course, they may not have the expertise to know when I should be focusing on what. There were two reasons why we chose to, to not just have it be the, the folks at MIT and really go out into the community of experts. Um, so one of them is really to, to demonstrate that knowledge, that all this knowledge is not pent up in the head of one person and it just needs to be delivered to the people at the other side. But rather, knowledge is distributed within a community. We need to figure out how to access that knowledge. Um, you as a continued member of that community need to configure out how to, you can continue to access that knowledge. And it's not going to just be from one person. It's going to be from the community at large. And we wanted to sort of represent that within our course. In some ways, I see MOOCs as an opportunity for Harvard to get back ground that's been lost to organizations like TED. So there's, there's this appetite for sound bites of things that seem like scholarship or seem intellectual. Um, and the quality of that is amazingly uneven. And uh, in many cases, the reduction to platitudes, it, it's, it's very frustrating for, for me and for a lot of academics. If we can turn that around and regain control of that discussion, and we can say, OK, well, here's something that's as engaging or more engaging than that. Um, but, it's, but it's the real thing. It's, it's real learning. And you can take it as far as you want. I think that's a very powerful thing that we can do with MOOCs.